Well, hello there, everybody. We're about to go train some arms. We're going to do some biceps, some triceps. It's going to be good. Um, I'm actually curious to see what we're going to come up with because arms, we do a lot of cable work normally. Right, and today, awesome we're doing just free weights. So we'll see what Crystal's come up with. She's kind of made the workout plan today. So let's see what we got. Alright y'all, arm workout is done. Not gonna lie, that's the best arm workout I've had in months. Probably. How many exercises we do, Crystal? Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Let's get in the camera together. I'll have to look at it. We did a bunch. Yeah. Probably like eight each. Something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Wait. Six. six? I think it was seven. Six or seven different arm workouts for biceps and triceps each, so 14 different workouts, exercises. Um, can't beat that. I think CJ just pulled up. Let's go grab him real quick. CJ just got here. Have you worked out yet today, bro? No, sir. Have you warmed up to make some bricks? Yes. You warmed up to make bricks? Yes, I am. What, what'd you do? Uh, we heat selling right now. Just got some bagged up. You feeling good? You feeling loose? Feeling pumped up? Yeah, a little bit. Just waking up. Let me pump you up a little bit more, man. Let me wake you up more. Let's go. <laughs> that sledgehammer's yours, man. You go hit the tire a couple times. 20 reps as hard and as fast as you can on the tire. I have to show y'all how it's done. Boom. Yeah. All right, so it's been a busy day at the office working on clients, emails, podcasts, the huge. Crystal's making some food right now. What you got, baby? You have a pound of. She made me a pound of 80 20 ground beef, and that's uh, the soft goat cheese, right? Yeah. And what are you having? I am having four ounces of ground beef in a burger patty with goat cheese and broccoli with miracle noodles. You're so cute. Alright y'all so just had a super productive meeting with my USPS crew. Basically they came over here they're gonna help me get a truck to come in so that when we do a launch we can basically just load the truck up and it goes out as opposed to us having to load the van up and then unload the van. So super excited about that should make things a bit more streamlined. Probably won't have that for this next launch, but hopefully for the one afterwards. So excited about that. Also, 
they gave me some insight into if anybody's like getting a package delayed or anything like that, um, or if it's like showing delivered and it's not delivered, they gave me some insight on how to fix that. Oftentimes it boils down to just a mistake made by the local mailman, um, but hopefully that will be minimized. So hopefully all that will be good going forward. Talk to you soon. So Crystal did the vlog yesterday and supposedly had a better vlog than I do. What's up with this, y'all? It's not true. It's just people aren't used to seeing my face, so it's different. Different? Yeah. I do appreciate your vlog. You gonna vlog more often, baby? I'm all for it. Chris is gonna vlog more often. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I got a couple items that I wanted to show y'all real quick, some of which, all of which are very interesting and fascinating to me. The first one is pretty freaking sweet. So this is a stainless steel, you know, cut out of my logo. Wait, wait, can I get it to match? Eh, close. Um, so Jonathan actually made this. Um, super cool. He brought this when he came. I meant to show it on the vlog when he was here, but I totally forgot. But he made this. I'm going to put it up in the gym somewhere probably. But I freaking love it. Thank you. Thank you a million, Jonathan. The other item of note, Brian Kane. Boom. If y'all remember, he's the one that took the pictures of the keto, the cinnamon keto brick that I put on social media. They were just freaking epic. He's a photographer, very talented photographer, and he, he sent uh, he sends Danny and I both a bunch of pictures, but this is the second calendar I've gotten from him. And like all the pictures are just like look at this y'all. Freaking gorgeous. Like it makes me want to go outside and just Embrace the beauty of the outdoors. So, huge thank you and shout out to Brian. Um, he's got, uh, you can follow him on Instagram, Brian underscore Kane, that's K-A-Y-N-E, and then Facebook, uh, Brian Kane Photography. Go follow him, awesome stuff, awesome photos. I'm gonna put that on the wall. And then I also got a package um, from Amazon, if I can figure out how to open it. I mentioned on my newsletter that I got a mouth guard, a mouthpiece, <clears throat> and I went with the New Age Performance mouthpiece. And supposedly, again, this is, I'm a little skeptical, but I figured I'd spend the money and test it out. But supposedly, when your body or when your jaw is out of alignment, um, which it is when you're like chewing gum or just like, like when you're training, for instance, straining hard in a gym, your jaw's out of alignment, it's gonna affect your balance, which is gonna affect your strength, and you just have negative repercussions from that. So this mouthpiece looks like this. I got the white one. Is designed, if it focuses, it's not gonna focus. There we go. But this is designed to basically uh, keep your lower and upper jaw in alignment, and then allow you to have more Stability, more balance, more strength while training. So uh, the four-time title holder of the world's strongest man, Brian Shaw, swears by these things. So I'm going to try it tomorrow when we do squats. Um, you have to heat it up, boil it in water, then bite down on it, get your custom indentions in it and everything. So I'm going to do that right now, see how it fits, and then we'll try it tomorrow for squats should sit on top of your teeth. Watch an instructional video right now. To Gotta have good teeth. instructions. Step four. All right, I got it in there with what was boiling water. Once that's heated up for 50 seconds, I'm gonna fit it to my mouth. All right, I have sized it. I don't know if um, I'd bit down hard enough because there's not, it's not gonna focus, focus. I'm gonna focus. Anyways, the indentions aren't super deep, so I don't know if I'm supposed to bite down harder. But that's what we got going there. It feels pretty good. Can't really talk with it. I probably won't be vlogging with it in that much, but that's what we got going so far. Hmm. All right, y'all. We're waiting on a, a call right now. We're about to jump on a call with Keto Connect, uh, Jonathan Shane, Christos. Have a little DSK meetup call. Um, but until that starts. Trying to rack my brain for footage ideas that I can talk to y'all about. Um, so I figured I'd talk about my new gun because I'm excited about that. <laughs> totally keto related. 
Anyways. By the way, someone asked if I got a new car. My car is very old. Yeah, I saw that comment too. Crystal's been driving that thing forever. <laughs> I've been Does it look forever. like it? Did you wash it or something? No. Yeah. I just think I, maybe I didn't get how gross it was. I yeah. didn't try not to, but my car is disgusting. Yeah, if y'all just now jumping on our YouTube, the van is like a new addition to our lives. Like yes. I have a piece of crap truck that I've had yeah. since I was a junior in high school. <laughs> And she has a piece of crap car that she's had for a long time as well. We just recently got the van. Yeah. Um, but the gun. So the motivation behind, first of all, this is a Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0 9mm. It is unloaded. There's nothing in the magazine or in the barrel. It's all clean and good to go. Um, but the motivation behind getting this is Crystal and I are going to be doing a lot of traveling coming up. You're not paying attention. Sorry. We're going to be doing a lot of traveling coming up next year specifically, and we want to just play it safe, be rather safe than sorry. So I got this. We're both going to get our concealed carry license. Uh, we're both going to be prepared. I wanted to get this prior to Thanksgiving because uh, we go down to the farm for Thanksgiving, and we're going to shoot a lot of guns at Thanksgiving. So, so far, I like the way it feels. Crystal likes the way it feels. She's going to probably get a... Uh, the same thing in the smaller compact shield version, but you like it so far? I do. So far, can't wait to shoot it. Yeah, so that's what we've got going on here. We need like a cool thumbnail with this. That's dumb. Like James no. Bond style? No. No? All right, anyways, <laughs> we're about to jump on this call now. Talk to you soon. All right, y'all, I'm currently grilling my steak, shooting my bow, that doesn't really get much more manly than that, does it? Grilling a ribeye, shooting your bow. Now that is the way to end the night. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot of footage today. Mostly I'm just um, getting ready for Thanksgiving. We go to uh, our family farm every year for Thanksgiving, which is in Allen, Arkansas, Texarkana area. Um, that's where I went to deer camp in that video a couple, two weeks back. Um, so I've been just trying to get caught up on all my emails, all my computer work. Uh, I pre-edited a podcast. I'm actually ahead, believe it or not, on some kind of editing. Uh, so I edited my podcast for Friday's release, so I don't have to do that while I'm gone because there's no internet down there. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been doing mostly today, just kind of trying to get ahead. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to have a, probably a shorter vlog, kind of introducing. I'll just talk about it tomorrow. So we'll, we'll talk about all that tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to shoot some more arrows, eat my steak, and I'll talk to you soon.